Imagine a battlefield where your enemy is deafened with their senses rendered useless. Their radars are jammed, communications are cut off, and all their advanced electronic systems are turned into mere props. What machine could be capable of such a feat? The answer lies in the realm of electronic warfare with the aircraft known as the EA-18G Growler. This is Military Mechanics, and in this episode, we will look at the EA-18G Growler. The story of the Growler began in the early 2000s, as the US Navy's EA-6B Prowler fleet, which had been in service since 1971, started showing signs of age and fatigue, a replacement was needed. Thus the call for a new, more capable electronic attack aircraft was made. In 2003, the Navy awarded Boeing a five-year system development and demonstration contract to build this next-generation airborne electronic attack aircraft. By July 2006, the first four production units had been ordered, and the first test flight took place in August of that same year. Later in the fall, the first two test aircraft were delivered to the U.S. Navy. The aircraft proved its worth in the trials, and by 2009, it had achieved its initial operational capability, ready to replace the Prowler. The Growler, based on the proven FA-18F Super Hornet, was more than just a derivative. It was an evolution. The dimensions of the Growler reflect its expanded capabilities. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 66,000 pounds and a carrier landing weight of 48,000 pounds, an increase of nearly 3,000 pounds compared to the FA-18F. This increase in weight is largely due to the integration of advanced avionics and mission systems, transforming the aircraft into a formidable tool of warfare. The EA-18G Growler is powered by two F414 GE400 afterburning turbofan engines from General Electric. These engines collectively provide an impressive 44,000 pounds of thrust. With this power, the Growler can reach a maximum speed of over 1,200 miles per hour, or Mach 1.6. When equipped with external fuel tanks, the Growler boasts a range of over 975 miles without requiring aerial refueling, giving it the ability to stay on station for a prolonged period. The cockpit of the Growler is a high-tech space where the pilot and electronic warfare officer work in tandem to operate the aircraft's systems. The cockpit features four 8 by 10 inch liquid crystal displays and upfront control panel. The pilot and electronic warfare officer have identical 8 by 10 inch displays which provide a larger and clearer picture of the battle situation. The aircraft is also fitted with a joint helmet mounted queuing system allowing the pilots to aim sensors and weapons wherever they're looking. The electronic warfare suite of the Growler is its true power center. Initially, the suite included up to three ANALQ-99 radar jamming pods, an ANALQ-218V2 receiver, and a Raytheon ANALQ-227 communications countermeasures set. The ANALQ-99 jamming pods cover a wide frequency of range and can disrupt multiple frequency points simultaneously. The ANALQ-218V2 receiver, in combination with the jamming pods, provides a selective reactive jamming capability and geolocation of emitters. The ANALQ-227 system, on the other hand, provides integrated information from onboard and offboard sources to optimize the electronic warfare effects. This suite is rounded off by the ANAPG 79 AESA radar system, which can function in air to air and air to surface modes while providing high resolution synthetic aperture radar mapping. These systems are continuously updated, keeping the Growler at the forefront of electronic warfare. 
For instance, the next generation JAMA mid-band system, which is currently being integrated, will replace the legendary ANALQ-99 tactical jamming system. This new system will provide improved airborne electronic attack capabilities to disrupt and degrade enemy air defense and ground communication systems. One unique aspect of the Growler's capabilities is that when three Growlers are networked together, they can generate targeting tracks for hostile radio frequency sources in real time. Utilizing data links, the Growler can use its electronic warfare pods to accurately locate signal sources. When one aircraft detects a signal from a source such as a cell phone, the other two can also listen for the same signal. Each measures the amount of time taken for transmissions to travel from the source to each aircraft, trilaterating the location to an extremely precise area. Despite its electronic warfare prowess, the EA-18G Growler is no slouch when it comes to conventional warfare. The Growler can carry AIM-120 AMRAAM and AIM-9X Sidewinder missiles for self-defense and is equipped with an M61A1 20mm cannon. The aircraft can also carry AGM-88 high-speed anti-radiation missiles or HARM and the advanced AGM-88E advanced anti-radiation guided missile or AARGM, both designed to target enemy radar systems. In sum, the EA-18G Growler is a true powerhouse in the realm of electronic warfare. With its cutting-edge technology and robust combat systems, it can effectively blind and silence an enemy, rendering their advanced systems useless. The Growler's unique capabilities make it an invaluable asset in modern warfare, where the ability to control the electromagnetic spectrum can often dictate the outcome of a battle. The Growler is, without a doubt, a game-changer, and its place in the history of warfare is firmly established. <laughs>